Are you struggling to grow longer, stronger and healthier hair? Has your hair been at the same length for years and years? Well, if that's you, then you've definitely landed on the right video because I'm going to be showing you my start to finish hair growth routine, especially for those who just don't have the time to do their hair. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Hey guys and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for my appearance. I really did plan to wear some makeup and look really cute, but I have two kids and that's just not really gonna happen. So please do bear with me in this new season of my life with two little children. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you hair growth routine and I'm going to be definitely including all of my updated tips and tricks, especially now that I have two children and I just don't have time to do my hair. Like, So if you're someone who is extremely lazy, extremely just does not have time or is just busy quite frankly and wants to shorten the amount of time they spent on their hair but still promoting hair growth, then this is the video for you. If you don't know me already, my name is Janet Davies and I'm your hair growth guide. And on this channel, we do all things hair care, life, etc. So if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely subscribe and definitely like this video. So the YouTube algorithm can definitely help other girls find videos like this to help them. So definitely watch until the end to find out everything I'm doing to maintain healthy long hair with minimal, minimal effort. Hey, hey guys, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. If you do wanna see my most updated wash day routine, then definitely check my most recent video. And I'm just going to be starting off with hair that is about, I would say 70% dry. And I'm gonna be applying a few products because I'm gonna be blow drying my hair. So I'm gonna apply a heat protectant, a little styling serum, and I've also already applied the leave-in conditioner off camera. All products will be in the description bar below and I'm just going to be sectioning my hair into four and a lazy growth tip is to air dry overnight before you blow dry because then you spend less time actually drying your hair you spend less time in your hair but you're still achieving the same result which is overall dry hair and I'm actually going to be stretching my hair with the rev air because honestly guys keeping your hair in a stretch state not only saves you time but also helps you to maintain a healthier stronger hair because if your hair is in a stretch state it's less likely to tangle up and then less likely to be broken off this is honestly a tip that i've been doing since i've been going natural and that's keeping my hair in a stretch state i'll definitely list all the benefits of stretching your hair but overall i'm going to be starting off with blow drying my hair and i'm also going to give us a trim and another tip is to honestly invest in tools such as the Rev Air, because although it is a bit pricey and it's no longer sold in the UK, so I'm sorry guys, it actually helps you spend less time overall in your hair. The Rev Air helps to honestly cut down the time you spend drying it, so then you're actually able to do other things with your life. <laughs> so I'm gonna be finger detangling first, using the Rev Air on speed seven, heat one, and then combing through with the comb. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I comb my hair because this is really important. I'm gonna be using this brush vertically and this will help you kind of glide through your hair smoother. I'm also gonna be holding my hair taut whilst brushing because that will actually help the tangling that may be caused just from brushing alone. So as you can see, I'm holding the hair and brushing through, holding the hair and brushing through and that helps me prevent tangles and then I spend less time in my hair because I'm not there frustrated struggling with my hair so I've gone in with the Rev Air on speed 7 heat 1 just to kind of like get my hair 100% dry and I'm going to go in with the comb to make sure all the curls are brushed out then I'm going to go in, be going back in with the Rev Air on speed 7 heat 2 for a few secs just as kind of like a heat blast to make sure my hair is truly stretched because what you want to make sure is that your hair is stretched all throughout and you don't have any kinks because that can actually cause tangles so we're kind of going for a completely straight-ish look and that is the result and i'm pretty much going to be doing this all over through my head but with each section i'm going to be going in with my hair strengthening oil the extra strength version to seal my hair because this again is another thing that truly helps in maintaining healthy hair especially oh that's a little mini length jack 
but especially if you're trying to get your hair to be stronger and to kind of just like prevent it from unnecessary damage by sealing your hair especially when you um, blow dry your hair with an oil you're helping your hair to be strengthened overall and then oh I just want to show you guys really quickly this is a single stranded knot and this is also the reason why we're actually trimming our hair because one thing about single stranded knots is they can be detrimental for hair growth so whenever you do come across one it's also very important to cut these out don't try to as much as you can try to use your fingers to detangle if you can't just cut out the knots because what will happen is if you don't cut it out and you rip it through then honestly you're gonna end up with a split end and that split end may go all the way up the shaft and basically damage your hair altogether so it's really important to look out for those single stranded knots there's another one as you can see and then cut them out that one i was able to actually use my fingers to you know finger the tangle but if not definitely have a pair of hair scissors and cut them out as you can see my ends are so terribly knotty because i'm so overdue a trim i don't think i trimmed my hair my whole pregnancy and postpartum so it's been a long time so yes as a lazy natural you want to make sure you trim regularly because if you don't you can see that it's taking me a lot longer to detangle my hair whereas if your hair was trimmed you would be able to speed through this a lot quicker and then also your hair will be healthier because you're not going to have all those single shredded knots and all those split ends so overall it's a win-win if you trim your hair regularly you're going to spend less time in your hair and your hair will be healthier overall so all these tips i'm giving you although they're saving you time they are not compromising on the health of your hair so i'm stretching my hair out again to make sure that i spend less time in my hair and overall making my hair healthier and stronger because i'm using a great tool which is the rev air i'm so sorry for you uk girlies honestly i can't wait for them to bring it back because the rev air truly does save time but yes i'm gonna pretty much speed through this showing you guys what i'm doing i'm just using the rev air on small sections speed seven heat one first um finger to tangle before i do that actually finger to tangle use the rev air get my hair pretty much 95 99 percent dry and then finger to tangle again brush through and then go in with heat two speed seven to make sure my hair is truly stretched out because what you don't want is kind of like half blow dried hair which is still prone to tangling so i'm going to be pretty much doing this all over my head so i'll let you guys definitely just have a look as to what i'm doing in case you kind of miss any step and um, yeah during postpartum you're going to have a lot more shed hair and with that shed hair comes a lot more tangles so you want to make sure you're regular with your washing and just your grooming because that shed hair will accumulate and create massive knots especially at the roots of your hair so another tip would also be to wash regularly if you are postpartum just to get rid of the shed hair you don't have to do this all the time but just to honestly maintain the hair that's on your head and prevent yourself from ripping it out definitely wash regularly I would say at least every two weeks would be regular. If you can do once a week, then that would be great as well. But obviously not weekly blow drying, but if you're gonna wash your hair weekly postpartum, that's also a good idea. And you can just put your hair in kind of a protective style in the meantime until your next wash routine, just to get rid of the shed hair that comes with postpartum. But if you're not postpartum, then every two weeks is perfectly fine. Especially if you're gonna stretch your hair with a blow dryer, because then you spend less time in your hair, manipulating it every single day, and just maintaining the health of your hair. So yeah, as I said, I'm just gonna be showing you guys, speeding through all the steps, showing you guys exactly what I'm doing in each section, taking my time to detangle. Detangling gently is honestly one of a great, a great saver because if you're not detangling gently and carefully you can actually do a lot more harm than good and the good thing about stretch hair is because your hair is stretched it's less likely to tangle and you overall will have healthier hair so yes this is the result my hair is fully blown out it didn't take too long but it's definitely time to trim because you can see these ends they're 
it's been a long time i think i probably haven't trimmed my hair in probably over a year and honestly i like to trim my hair at least twice in a year and i'm going to be showing you how i do that at home i don't think i've been to a hair salon in probably like 15 years um so it's been a long time i've just been doing my stuff <laughs> on youtube um but yeah first a length check you can see kind of like how long my hair is but as you can see my hair my ends are just not giving at all they're giving crusty they're giving you need a trim girl so to trim my hair i'm honestly going to be doing a really simple method in making sure my hair is all combed out brushing it all the way through so i can make sure that i trim my hair really well and i'm then going to be going in with these little like bands the like bands that you can use on like children's hair or even on adult's hair i don't know what you call them you can buy them on amazon ebay you can any hair shop you can pretty much buy them and i'm going to be parting my hair in the middle and then using these bands and then bringing my hair to the front and banding them all the way down so that i can truly see the state of my hair because through this method i'll be able to see my ends and i'm pretty much going to cut where i see the ends kind of look more see-through um but you can see my hair is tangling so much so unnecessarily so it just kind of goes to show that i need a trim i'm also going to be including a infographic so you can also have signs that you need to trim and when you're aware of these signs you can definitely go ahead and give yourself a trim it might even be every four months for you it truly really depends on how you manipulate your hair the more you manipulate your hair the more damage you have the more you're going to have to trim your hair because you're going to have more damaged hair but the less you're in your hair the less likely you need to trim your so yes i'm gonna be again combing through making sure that i can see my hair and i am wearing trousers please just it's, it's it was a long day and yeah i'm gonna be trimming the parts that look somewhat see-through just so i can make sure that my ends are really 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 healthy because the ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair meaning that they're they're struggling <laughs> they need to retire so those ends they are gone and i've cut that through pretty much blunt as you can see look at how i can get that fine tooth comb through my hair so much easier to detangle that means because i can detangle easier i'm going to spend less time in my hair in the shower manipulating it whatever it is less time detangling means less time on your hair so now i'm going to just do the front a little bit i'm not a professional hairstylist guys i'm going off just through knowledge from my degree and also my over 10 years worth of experience with dealing with this beast natural hair so i'm gonna then um trim the front just because you know when you're trimming you're not always going to catch everything in one go so you can do this in many different ways you can kind of band your hair in so many different ways or so long as it's even on either side to kind of get an overall trim but i'm just going to be doing two for now and if i need to do any more then i'll record more but for the most part this is normally enough um so yeah i'm going to be showing you that i'm trimming my hair I'm using hair scissors as well, not like kitchen random scissors. I'm using proper hair shears that are really sharp. You wanna make sure you're gonna be using good scissors. But yeah, that's me doing a trim. And then as you can see, I'm, ugh, look at the results. I'm so, it's so easy to just detangle my hair. I'm not struggling. I'm not ripping my hair out. And overall, although your hair may be shorter, it's gonna be healthier. That means you're gonna retain more length and your hair will be longer. So don't be afraid to trim. If you get anything from this video, don't be afraid to trim because wash day will be easier. In fact, your wash day will become wash minute. <laughs> okay, maybe not wash minute, but you're gonna just spend less time overall in your hair and more time with the rest of your life. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've trimmed my hair and I'm loving the results. My hair is healthier. It's actually a bit more voluminous. And if you will try this method of trimming your hair, comment down below. I know, I know not everyone with long, I mean, short hair can do this, but if your hair is of a decent length, then you can definitely. And I'm not gonna forget these edges <laughs> because postpartum will not come for me. So I'm just gonna be using my extra strength hair growth potion especially to the crown of my hair because with postpartum these are the most sensitive areas to shedding like excessive shedding so i'm just going to be making sure that my scalp is just looked after and nourished and this extra strength hair growth potion has so many great ingredients but i'll definitely link all the products i'm using down below and you guys can have a look if you're interested but yeah that's pretty much it in terms of my hair but overall guys i'm going to be hopefully making 
a lot more videos surrounding making sure you spend less time in your hair but oh i forgot i'm gonna do a scalp massage um and there's so many benefits with a scalp massage overall just everything but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video i'm trying not to ramble i'm trying to wrap this up real quick but overall thank you guys so much for watching if you didn't did you know love, like this video then leave us a like and i'll catch you in the next one see ya